hey guys shubham here back again after so long so it's been a long that almost most of the roms are right now available for the poco f1 running on android 11 no matter the roms are official or unofficial every rom is good or bad in their specs so today we are going to talk about one of the official rom which is very unique in ui ux and also in terms of performance and all the other aspects so today we are going to talk about such rom which is kind of unique and also highly stable the rom is named as the flood os version 1.1 so without any further ado let's get into this video So moving towards the system settings, as you can see that we are running on the latest Fluid OS version of version 1.1 which is of the 20th of January build, running on the latest security patch and also obviously Android 11. The ROM actually has backed with Silver Coal Kernel which is of latest version. As you can see obviously Android 11 out of the box. So now let's talk about the Fluid customization which is its god famous war. So moving toward customizations we got pretty good customizations such as accent color where you can set any type of accent color you want without any issues and also in different kinds of other customizations. When you turn on the black mode you will get all the other customizations and also you can set the primary theme whichever you want to keep without any issues. Further it also got the icon shape where you can change various type of icon shape in the menu itself. It got some new icon shape called as pebble and rest of the other icon shapes are same itself as you get in other rom. Moving further, you also called subsystem theme icons where you can change the status bar icons the way you want filled, unfilled or samsung or any other style. Moving further, you can also change different types of font, the headline font whichever you want the default one or any other type. You can also change the lock screen clock type as you can see these are the clock type which you can get in this rom and you can set any one of them moving further in the status bar customizations you get all the generic status bar customizations such as double tap to wake and all the other such as 4g icon related and all the other customizations moving towards the qs style then you will get the qs style customizations in lock screen you will get the lock screen customizations and also some extras which you want to keep such as allow signature spoofing and all the other stuff. You can also notice this pretty good animation which looks kinda nice and also different with all the other aspects. Moving further let's talk about the fluid user experience and user interface. So talking about the user interface. Moving towards the android version you will see these blocks of design and this is kinda unique and looks beautiful in every aspect. Where everything is noted about the rom and also the android version right from the chipset and everything else. Moving further in tiles you will get all type of tiles you ever need and you can set any one of them. You will also get fps counter, yes this is good for gamers who want to see how much fps they get phones is recording while they are playing games like call of duty and all the other high frame rates game you will also get always on display always on display you got option of keeping that display off or on and also you can keep that display on when your device is on charge itself talking about the smoothness of this rom then the rom is pretty smooth and stable opening and closing of applications is pretty smooth and as the name says fluid it's actually fluid you can switch off between the apps easily and no stutters and lags were found just select any of the app and yes you can get take screenshot of any one of them just like that and you can share with any of your friends or on the social media or via messaging itself so with respect to user experience the rom is pretty good and stable Moving further you will also get in device screen recorder itself when you can record your screen and also record your gameplays. It gets recorded via inline mic that is your game volume and all the other volume inside the game or other application will be recorded and you will face no issues with respect to that. 
Previously there were issues regarding screen recording but now they have fixed and this works pretty smooth, stable and fine without any lags or issues. Talking about the performance then the ROM is pretty smooth and stable, scrolling from the google feeds to scrolling from apps up, upside down and all the other settings is pretty smooth and stable. Moving towards the home settings of the launcher, you will get all these home settings and other notification.xs and etc. The launcher in this ROM is called as Fluid Launcher which is almost same as the Pixel Launcher. You will get almost all the features which are available in Pixel Launcher without any issues. So let's talk about the battery performance in this ROM. Talking about the battery performance, then as per my usage, I got about 1-2 to two hours of screen on time. Obviously this usage will change for all the people as per the usage because I heavily use this ROM about this amount of screen on time I was about to get. You can also set various type of thermal profiles in this ROM the way you want obviously which is available in all the ROMs itself. Moving further also you will get direct sound enhancer in it which is also called as me sound enhancer to enhance your sound and music. Now let's talk about the safety net check. Talk about the safety net check then, yes, this ROM has got safety net check pass itself. So you can use all the other payment applications and banking applications like Google Pay, Paytm, PhonePay, etc. without any issues, no need to root your device and enable magic hide itself. Talking about the face unlock, then face unlock works pretty fine and smooth without any issues. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video must make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates. I know after long time that I am uploading video but from now I will upload regularly so stay subscribed and see you in the next one. Peace.